Hey everyone, how are we doing tonight? Oh. It's good to be back after being sick. Let me tell you. Can I get this to calibrate? Please don't tell me it calibrated this way. This is gonna look so weird. Okay, now that looks right. You're guessing I'm not dying anymore. Yep, my uh, my uh, my pain levels are back to normal. Hey, what's up, Mori Takanashi? Not in a good mood to be in science class. I'll be absent. Hey, I'm sorry you're not in a good mood. I hope you feel better. Uh, we'll see you next time, hopefully. Also, I saw you updated your profile picture. That's I don't I don't know what flag that is, but. Thanks for stopping by a little bit, Mori. Uh, real quick, I mean. Uh, let's see, who else is here? Uh, Cholo404, I don't know if he's still here, but he's here like 40 minutes ago. Raven's Dolphin, White Moon, Shadow X, uh, Lin, Winner, Riohan, Darn Sig. Just don't be sick, problem solved. Well, that's the thing, is I'm not... I've been trying to be careful with my diet so I wouldn't get sick. And, uh... It, it still turns out that, I mean, there's no guarantees in life, so I still ended up, uh, I was sick for like two days, it was awful. Went to, uh, <laughs> I went to like, uh, basically a liquid diet in order to recover, but, uh, we're okay now. We're seeing the doctor tomorrow, so nothing to worry about. Hey, what's up, Pop Tart? What's up, uh, Kuki217, aka Goji Tanks? You bought this game the day it came out, and you've been having fun with it. I've been waiting for this game for like a year, ever since it was announced. It feels like uh, I'm I'm pretty excited to hop right on this. Should be should be a fun time. What's up, Enix? Um, oh, I know what I'm missing. Hang on a second. What's up, Uncle Andy? Oh, nice. This is the next game I'm getting once I'm done with Fire Emblem Three Houses. I love Fire Emblem, and I really liked Octopath Traveler. I might have liked Fire Emblem more than Octopath Traveler, but this is from the same studio that made Octopath Traveler, and it's going to have more of that, that grid-style tactics or a strategy aspect to it. So it looks like it's going to be a, a fantastic game. What's up, Spave? Welcome to the stream. Oh, I got to make sure YouTube's not screwing screwing with my timing. Okay, we're on the we're on the ultra low latency mode. So you get me as soon as YouTube processes the sound of my voice. Okay. Is this even plugged in? Ooh, my pro controller is not plugged in. Are we going Joy-Cons tonight? We might be going Joy-Cons tonight. Okay. All right, no more, no more of the background music. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm not ready yet. Almost ready. Uh, Rocky's still here. Create source projector. Aha, now I have like my own little TV. Am I going to play live, live alive? It's like Chrono Trigger meets Octopath. Um, you know, I'm not sure because I didn't have that game on my radar. Okay, it's deathly quiet. <laughs> yeah. You got you guys heard that, right? Okay, yep, yeah, it's working. Oh boy, it's working. Okay, all the credits. Can I skip this?
This is not Dark Eldenborn. No, we're going to play Elden Ring like the rest of the week if you've seen the schedule tweet. Live Alive, I hope I'm saying that, uh, was an old game getting re-released and coming to the West for the first time. If I get it, I I might play it off stream unless I finish Elden Ring this week, which I highly doubt. Yeah, Arrow, you're just in time. Alright, guys. So I'm going to play for about three hours tonight. Live as in alive, so it's live alive. Oh, that rolls off the tongue weird. I thought my way was better. It's It does sound like a cool game. If it's Chrono Trigger and... Uh, what, what'd you say? Chrono Trigger and... Octopath? Unless it's short like Chrono Trigger, then I might stream it. Who knows? But I, I gotta get to... I wanna play Sophie too. And I know this game's quite long. <laughs> Unless I fill my schedule up with just... <laughs> one day a week dedicated to an, an RPG. Okay, so... Like I said, about three hours tonight, I unfortunately have an early work meeting tomorrow, so I can't go late. And, uh... Oh, what's my other trouble? Oh, I'm streaming a lot this week, if you saw the schedule on Twitter. Probably every day this week, if I can manage it. But part of me preventing that burnout is I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to say, like, alright, three hours, three and a half hours, I cut the stream off. So... All right, we're going to start on normal because I don't want the game to be, this is going to be a long game. I don't want it to be on hard and then we're struggling on encounters. On the faraway continent oh. of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. Will I play Advance Wars Reboot? Absolutely. I hope I enjoy the game too, Lewis Martins. Welcome to the stream. Rolls off the tongue weird, unlike great game names like Triangle Strategy. The kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the I know what an amazing title. Bringing flourishing trade. Yeah, I'm gonna, Rocky. You're gonna go over here tonight. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. Is there not an auto advance on the dialogue like other great RPGs had? And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzad. Home to the lake from which is harvested the salt is central to life. Yeah, the salt iron wars, let's go. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Hey, what's up, CL? Not for these cutscenes? Okay. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles, and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. <laughs> salt is a way of life. Facing their mutual demise, I used to be a salt miner. I remember those days. Bruce, the Norzelia Consortium is formed, a neutral organization that oversees fair trade of iron and salt. Finally, peace came to the realm. 30 years past. Oh, Arrow, you were right. Now, uh, R puts on an auto advance. Grand Duchy of Esfrost and House Wolfort of Glenbrook, whose power in the kingdom is second only to that of the royal family itself. Chapter 1, A Young Hawk Soars. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I guess I was closer to a foreman. You're right, Lynn. But still, I've been down in the salt mines before. Lord Serenoa? Get 
Good morning. Congratulations, my lord. The future of Wolfward is looking brighter than ever. Okay, not to talk over the cutscene a whole lot, day, is it not? but what does Wolfort have to offer? If the guys in the north have the iron, and the guys in the east have the salt, what do the guys in the west have? So, you were here after all. Oh yeah, Lynn, this is the place where we ah, <laughs> burned the houses down. People already. You can thank Eridor for that. I can't remember what chapter that was. Blabbing the news to anyone who would listen. I'll have a talk with him. No, I should mute my phone so you guys don't hear text notifications. Not merely for our domain, but for all of Glenbrook. I'm glad he said domain because I probably would have said Demesne. <laughs> this is well and true, my lord. But you must consider your betrothed's lineage. I'm well aware of the situation, Benedict. I cannot oh, see betrothed! What repercussions this may have. <laughs> Arranged what I marriages. Know is that the people rejoice for us and harbor hope for the future? As the future lord of Be based and skipped all the text. I must rise uh, to the occasion. no, but. I'm probably going to just keep Find talking over it like this. <laughs> steward, I will do all in my power to assist. Thank you, Benedict. It is heartening to have the support of my father's right-hand man. Kind of the ye old English. Shall we head to the port then, my lord? Oh wait, hang on. So soon. I had thought we would You can bring time. up the profile of the characters talking. That's kind of a neat feature in case you come back to it after a while or they show a character you're like who doesn't come back for like four chapters? Like, wait a second, that guy's familiar. Okay, sorry. The river's waters have risen with the heavy rainfall earlier this week. I just think that's a neat feature. I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen that feature before. It's likely that Esfrost's ship will arrive ahead of schedule. I like Benedict's voice. I think I said that in the, the demo. I liked how he sounded. Ye old English reminds me of a certain game, Elden Ring? Selecting event markers on the world map it will advance the story. There are two types of events, main and sub. <laughs> main events are crucial to the plot, while sub events are entirely optional, but will disappear from the map when the story progresses. Roster, inventory, war chronicle, and system have been added to the main menu. All right. Uh, press X to open the main menu where you can view your units, prepare, adjust game settings, and more. Okay. The game uses autosave. However, there's only one autosave slot. I guess there's no off-stream playthrough for me. Why was I giggling at sub? <laughs> I'm just glad they used main and sub and, and, not, and not top and sub or... I don't know. <laughs> don't worry about it, Arrow. I'll explain it to you when you're older. Oh, okay. So we're done with that. Ah, no, no sub events. Excellent. So we'll just go forward with the story. Yeah, of course the Kingdom of Iron is going to have an ironclad. You know, it almost looks like you can make this... For the escort. You are free to go. It almost looks like you can make this ship in Minecraft. I think that would be pretty cool. Build idea right here, maybe? I don't know. Uh, auto. Lady Frederica, there is no one here to receive you. <laughs> There's some events I'm just not invited. Ship, no if I have heard truth, <laughs> he is not the type to keep a lady waiting. By your leave, then. We wish you everlasting happiness. Pink-haired lady, though. That's my type. Thank you. I shall work hard, both for my new home and for my motherland. 
Please let brother, the Archduke, know that. Frederica, Lady of a a Frost, Ice Frost, the eldest daughter in Serenota's betrothed. She is the daughter of the former Arch Archduke, I almost said Archduke, and a Ro Rosalind woman, and half sister to Gustav. As you command, my lady. Who's Leave the current the you, Archduke, I'm guessing? I shan't let you down. Oh, I remember her from the uh, demo. S Frost. A E S looks like it could be pronounced ice. Phew. Glenbrook at last. Glasses Finally, girl. We can take a moment of respite from our long journey. Her name is Gila. We've arrived ahead of schedule. I haven't met best girl yet. Yeah, the assassin I'm girl, right? To being late. This is a momentous day for Esfrost and for the entire realm. We cannot afford to make a bad first impression. Yeah, you're right, Arrow. It's Esfrost. I agree. Which is why we cannot have you looking so tense. Why don't we go for a bit of a stroll? A fine idea. After all, oh, we did meet the, the shaman too. I, am free to do as I, I can't remember her name. Most are not inclined to grant liberty to one of Roselle heritage, such as me. You brought that pendant with you. Of course. It is the only memento I have of my mother. You're just flexing you've played more than me. Well, I wanted to play on Friday, but I was sick. <laughs> Thank you kindly, little lady. I like the Wilhelm screams from the soldiers. <laughs> Letting a whole boatload of guards go back home was a stroke of genius. We heard tell you'd be here, and we wanted to be the ones to welcome you. The winds of fortune are blowing today, aren't they, Pa? Brigands! Stand back, Frederica. I shan't let them have you. Yeah, they're standing too close together. Just one fireball. D&D &D humor. Recommended level two. I hope I'm level two, guys. Oh, no, we're level one. And we might be in trouble. All right. Oh, there's a summary on the story. Nice. All right, I like that. What do you intend to do with us? Oh, do I have to set auto every cutscene? Take little hostages, that's all. And ring every last coin out of the duchy and house Wolfort. What's with that pink hair, though? Ya Rosellen? And that lady looks like she's from Hyzant. Did we go after the wrong boat? Oh, wait, all Rosellens have pink hair? Impossible! Ship us full of Esfrosty soldiers. Enough. I am without a doubt. Have you bandits no shame? Attacking two innocent women? And just who in the hell are you? <laughs> In Norzelia, three major guiding convictions prevail. Utility, morality, and liberty. These take the form of invisible parameters that are influenced by the choices you make throughout the game. Oh yeah, this is, here's the mechanic, the triangle. Your decisions will shape Saranoa's convictions will influence which companions may choose to join his cause. Who are you exactly? A band of common brigands? From the looks of it. 
You need to know who. Surrender now and we can resolve this peacefully, or... You, tear, you two bear a striking resemblance. Might you be father and daughter? I don't... Yeah, let's just have... <laughs> let's just inter <laughs> casually introduce ourselves. Talk to each other. I don't know. I'll go for the peaceful option, but I have high doubts that we'll get a peaceful resolution in the tutorial. You need to know who. Surrender now and we can resolve this peacefully. Do you even know who you're talking to, boy? <laughs> we don't do anything peacefully. Oh good, neither do me. But if you surrender now, we'll spare your miserable lives. It appears they're not keen to listen. Indeed, they don't strike me as the type to be swayed by logic. Quit your whimpering and just accept you're done for. Nope. Once Travis, his daughter Trish, and their mighty crew set their sights on you, <laughs> ain't nothing you can do. Ah, enough of this. You'll regret ruining our plan. The head of a band of thieves that appears all across Norzelia to steal from the rich. His thieving skills are second to none, as in as is his luck to escape trouble they land him in. Eye patch is kinda cool. Two arms, my lord. Stand back, the both of you. No, we fight together. I brought this upon us through my indiscretion. Pray allow me to help. My lady. I'm a teacher of the arcane arts, and Frederica is a most apt pupil. I can assure you we shan't be a burden. Then I ask for your support from the back lines. And you shall have it. Yeah! Why didn't you tell me you were having such fun? I would have joined you sooner. What are you doing here? Blonde, blue-eyed man with a spear on a horseback. It's my Dimitri. Uh, wait. Benedict's aptitudes in battle. Oh, wait. Is this just the loading screen tips? Aids comrades with various support abilities. Alters the turn order of his allies. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is just telling me what everyone does. Okay, uh, Frederica is a pyromancer. Casts spells to assail multiple targets. Can use fire spells to set flammable squares ablaze. Gila can recover his HP. Uh, heals them more, the more hurt they are. Okay. I recognize this game. It's Tactics Ogre, right? No, but Ogre, 60, Ogre Battle 64 was awesome. Oh, I could have also said, wait, blonde hair, blue eyes, that's me! I hope you adults are ready to learn a hard lesson. You'll need more than numbers to beat us. Oh, I think you have us outnumbered. Oh, I can't auto here. Confidence is admirable, at least. Orders, my lord. Give them no quarter. We cannot allow brigands to have the run of Woolport. Just who are these people anyway? Now, Benedict. I guess Frederica doesn't know who we are. In battle, positioning and two turn order are two keys to victory. I would akin this to Final Fantasy Tactics, given that it was made by Square Enix. You know, I never played Tactics, but I played Tactics Advance. Attacks from higher ground deal increased damage. Attacks from behind are guaranteed criticals. In order, the order in which units take action is determined by speed. Upcoming turn order is determined by the AT bar. And then some minor controls. Hey, what's up, Niblish? Think you got what it takes to best my family? Ha! Fools the lot of you. Hope you're ready. Give him a fight, man. Distinguish yourself in battle and you receive your due reward. 
Blue panels within movement range are are out of enemies range. Purple are within movement and enemy range. Red lines in indicate enemies will attack the unit. Oh yeah, like uh, Fire Emblem, you can see the uh, intentions of the enemy, which is nice in a, a strategy game <laughs> to know what your opponent is going to do. Red indicate your attack range. Yellow indicate the area effect. Okay. We do not pay kindly to thievery here in Wolfhorse. You will pay for your crimes. From where <coughs> All right. <coughs> All right, that went down the wrong pipe. Oh my god. I'm okay, don't worry. Holy cow. Alright. Get a healing potion? Not I don't know if you can drink a healing potion while you're choking. Alt Warfare is based, Sun Tzu. Did he actually say that? Uh, in this menu, you can choose which commands to issue. It is split into two tabs, actions and items. In the actions, you can choose whether you use a normal attack or a unique ability. Abilities consume TP. Units regain one TP at the start of their turn. Hey, what's up, Nicholas? The items tab contains a list of items shared by the party. All right. Oh, I can change my facing too. Am I- did I just put myself in a position where, like, everyone can attack me? Yeah. Close, oh. But not quite. Haha, <laughs> we dodged. Our land has no place for those who disregard the law. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Ooh, that's a lot of red arrows. Raises allies strength and magic or deal physical damage. Oh, he can do this from way back here, huh? All for victory. Much appreciated. For victory. Oh, we don't have a name for our Spear Knight yet. Okay, does the dark red lines mean that those would be lethal attacks? Kind of want to get here <laughs> and go for the critical. No, there's no way that'd be lethal. Does that mean archery? Oh yeah, he does damage in a straight line. I suppose we are not. Impossible. Oh 
Oh yeah, there's no counterattacks. Like uh, Fire Emblem. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. The effects are really pretty on the on the spells and stuff. I like that. When an enemy is struck with a physical attack, any enemy allies on the opposite side will follow up. Okay. We must defend ourselves from this danger that threatens us. Let me show you what I've learned. Well, we can do a follow up on the bandit bruiser, but I don't want to put her in the front row. Deal fire damage to all enemies within range and set the ground ablaze. Or we can bonk this guy. Ah! We'll go for the bonk. Thankfully they don't... Do a lot of damage, probably because it's the tutorial. Coming through. Defeat is not an option. This ends here. That hit the mark. My turn. Yeah. Oh, I can attack and then move. That's also good to know. Oh, we got a bonus for hitting two enemies at the same time. Fallen enemies drop spoils, and an ally's turn on the square to claim the spoils. Enemies can also claim spoils, so beware. On rare occasions, enemies will drop small boxes containing exquisite spoils. Allies do not need to pick up these items they are automatically acquired. Spoils cannot be used the moment they are acquired. You must emerge victorious to see the spoils you have obtained and claim them as your own. All unclaimed spoils will be lost once the battle ends. I shall try my level best. I don't know why they're beating up the the princess. Okay, if we go here. My turn. Just as I planned. My turn. No, we're getting backstabbed. Let me heal your wounds. Who needs healing? Oh, probably Frederica. Ah! Your wounds are healed. I can keep fighting. Let me show you what I've learned. Um, let's see. I think we should just keep smacking this bandit since we're in a good pincer spot. Oh, but Scorch is, would do a lot of damage to him. Eh. Wait, why can't I attack him? Oh, I have to hit here first. Just as I planned. Now, if I move here, then I prevent him from getting backstabbed. Oh, no. Hope you're ready. This one will hurt. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of a cool little animation. Alright, well... A regular lance attack won't finish this guy off, so we'll use the TP to 
finish that guy off for sure. From where shall we strike? Finish that guy off, or we can do some damage to the... I think we want to finish people off. The more bad guys we can knock out, the uh, less actions they get on their turn. Or the less actions the enemy team has. Good dodge. I see a path to victory. Oh, he's going last, so I'd have to find someone. Alright, let's buff Fre Frederica and hopefully she gets a big spell next turn. Shall we begin? I think she needs to heal herself, unfortunately. Yeah, he is at 49 health, so he's got 10 more than she does. Hello? Okay. Your wounds are good. I fight for peace. Oops. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Is there friendly fire in this game? I don't think there is. No, nope, there isn't. There's not as far as you've seen. Hey, good deal. Brace yourself. Forward. Okay, can I hit this guy or delay his turn? Seems like a good idea. About to say there's only one way to discover friendly fire. Yeah, and the tutorial mission seems like a good chance to Oh my god. That worked, huh? Over here. Let me heal your wounds. Allow me. I think this guy is the only strategy RPG with friendly fire. Oh yeah, I don't think there was friendly fire in uh, Fire Emblem, was there? Let's see. Unit details show you unit stats and abilities. You can also press X to equip accessories. Okay, she has fire resist. Does this guy have fire resist? Hello? Oops. Nope. Okay. This guy had a ninja that had such high dodge that I avoided a healing spell as well as anything else. Oh! I didn't know healing magic could miss in Disgaea. Let me show you what I've learned. That's kind of wild. Yeah. 
Okay, so if I put my back to the wall, hopefully I can't get backstabbed. Healing magic doesn't miss. But doesn't it miss in Disgaea? Isn't that what he said? It didn't miss, I dodged it. Oh. Well, that's kind of the same thing, when you think about it. Hey, what's up, Soul? Bunker. Yeah, hey, we leveled up. Bad luck this is. I shall try my level best. All right. Well, from here, I think we just. One more. We will make our ideals reality. Cool heads shall prevail. 40, 40, 60. Be at ease. One is actively getting out of the way, the other is my healer sucking. <laughs> Allow me. Oh, we can't scorch this turn. Oh well, we'll just bonker. What am I going to do, a smash stream? You know, I'm not sure. I have, uh... Oh my god, a critical on her? I have a lot of Elden Ring on the schedule. Alright, we have to hit this guy with the... Delay turn so he doesn't kill our healer. I'll make this quick. I shall try my level best. And he should be able to finish off Trish. Oh, it's close. One more. My knowledge At least he leveled up. They're good. Allow me. My growth is Hey, she leveled up too. I fight for peace. Forgive me. My stratagem is superior. I think she literally had two HP left. Hey, we got exquisite spoils. All right, move here. Protect the healer. Hey, we did it. Damn it all. This can't be. No one died either. Back to Dark Souls 3. Hey, that's a great game, Enix. All right, Sarah Noah's convictions are strengthened. I got 17 kudos. I hope that's good. We did seven follow-ups, five backstabs, three high grounds, one double, and one triple hit. All right. Oh, Rocky went to the couch, so I'll turn off the Rocky cam for now. Oh, hey! Wait. Hey, Toza the Terrible, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the workshop. Hope you enjoy your stay. Really appreciate that. Uh, I was playing Fantasy Star Online 2, then it went under maintenance. I hope that's what you meant by PSO2. Uh, auto dialogue. What's that you say? Walford? It can't be. What are they doing? 
going here so damn soon. Nah, I don't pay attention to that Let's get out of here. Uh, particular streamer anymore. We're a bunch of no good thieves. At least they know when they're in over their heads. I would have preferred to apprehend hey, them Rocky. and see them atone for their crimes, but uh, so be it. Conveniently running away safe. bad guys. Isn't that what matters? My bride-to-be. My sincerest apologies. I had no idea we were being trailed by bandits. How are you supposed to know you're in a boat and they attack you by land? Of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. I have come to fulfill our agreement. I am honored to join you in marriage and to call House Walfort my new home. The honor and pleasure is mine, Lady Frederica. Pray forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. <laughs> to think you'd fight at each other's side in battle before exchanging your vows. I don't know who this blonde guy is, but he's being a total wingman. I dare say that it bodes well for Wolfort that his new lord and lady makes such a fine team. At least you know our wife is no pushover. That is true. Here, here you are. Why, the entire Kingsguard has been scouring the land for you. Did you sneak out of the castle again, Roland? Aha, his name's Roland. I forgot. When I heard my best friend's betrothed was arriving in Glenbrook, I simply couldn't miss the occasion. While we appreciate the sentiment, perhaps you should have said something to the king. <laughs> Ran away from home to come hang out with us. <laughs> I'm the least of my dear father's concerns. Though I suspect Huet will think otherwise. I suppose I'd best be on my way back. Rest easy, my fair lady Frederica. You are in good hands here. Our wife is red hot, get it? Like fire? Yeah, she's a pyromancer. of Glenbrook's royal family. Could that have been? Prince Roland, King Regna's younger son. So a lord and a prince drove off a band of brigands by their own hand. Oh, I didn't mean to hit fast forward. My tutor and attendant. I'll set the controllers down so that doesn't happen again. Marshal prowess of the Wolforts. It was an honor to be able to witness it firsthand. I'll let it play on its own. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sarah Noah of House Wolfort. And this is Benedict, trusted steward of my family. It is my honor to serve Lord Sarah Noah in any and all matters. On behalf of House Wolfort... I was kind of bummed for the first battle... But it is the first battle, so we don't have all the cool moves that we had in the demo. You may think this is an odd question, my lord, but I ask it nonetheless. What does the color of my hair mean to you? I could always check the log, that's true. Oh, <laughs> the color of her hair. If it is not too forward of me to say so, I find it most beautiful. Milady tips Fedora. Uh, I find your courage more noteworthy than your appearance. You held your own out there on the battlefield. <sighs> Edgelord answer. I think it nothing to be surprised about. We have Rizel living in our very domain. Is that how that was pronounced? D-E-M-E-S-N-E? -E -E? I'm kind of leaning towards the third option. I don't know. <sighs> but then that just feels like I'm brushing her off. Like, yeah, whatever, you have pink hair. I've seen pink hair. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
And the only reason why I agonize over these choices is because I know one, it influences sub events, and number two, it influences who I can recruit later. But maybe it's early on. Maybe these choices don't have as much weight as choices later on in the story. Alright, I'm gonna go with the. It's beautiful, my lady. Because I do like pink hair. <laughs> we'll simp for our arranged wife. Not too forward of me to say so. I find it most beautiful. Thank you, my lord. But you need not flatter me. I said only what I mean. I have always been fond of roses, and your hair is as beautiful as anything. I <laughs> look at it. I adore them too. Then it would seem we have something in common. Ladies Smooth, Sarah Noah. Awaits. Allow us to escort you back to Castle Wolfport. That's his full name, by the way, is Sarah Noah the Smooth. Frederica and Gila joined your forces. I hope I'm saying her name right. I know they've pronounced it twice, but my brain. I'm trying to court our waifu pog. Yeah, is there anything wrong with romancing our, uh... <laughs> Sarah Noah of our male-in bride from the north? And Frederica of Esfrost. Will unite in marriage to strengthen the ties between their two nations. Pink hair and green eyes. Great combo. Just saying. In doing so, the newfound allies hope to hold their own in the face of Hyzant's salt monopoly, which continues even now, decades after the war. Who could have known that this was but a prelude to an uprising that would engulf all of Norzelia in the flames of war? Oh yeah! In the demo, wasn't it Hyzant that was orchestrating the battle? Okay, we can encamp. We have the Provisioner. You can select encampment from the main menu to access the army's camp. Additional features will be unlocked as the story progresses. Um, let's go to the side story for Whiteholm Castle. Actually, let's check the encampment since we just unlocked it. Let's get that tutorial out of the way. <laughs> A portly merchant. <laughs> ah, if it isn't Lord Serenoa, how do you do? This humble merchant has brought the finest selection of goods from across the realm. Please have a look. Okay, you cannot reap the benefits of accessories simply by purchasing them, so remember to equip them to the ally. Hey, hey, what's up, Chompy? Alright, we have accessory rings, which we don't have access to. Or we can't afford. Iron, stone, timber, fiber. These are materials to learn weapon abilities, which we didn't have access to before. And we have HP, Poison, and Sleep. Oh, that's his stock. Okay, not our stock. Well, waking up from... Or recovering Poison is important. And maybe Sleep could be useful in a pinch. Oh. Anything else for us? Nope. Not yet. All right, now we'll do the side story. Hopefully I didn't hit that too early. <laughs> I didn't look at the level requirement. <laughs> Wherever did my fool brother run off to? I explicitly told him I wanted him here when we welcome our guests. Who is Franny? The crown prince and eldest son of Regna, he studies the art of kingship at his father's side and manages the royalists. He often finds himself at odds with his younger brother, Roland, due to their differing personalities. Alright, back to Otto. 
It would seem Prince Roland shrugged off the king's guard and went on a little excursion, as he's wont to do. Patriot Consar. Uh, this guy, look at this guy. This guy's totally a villain. He is going to betray the royal family or sell us out or something. Uh, a nobleman whose name has long been known throughout Glenbrook. Glenbrook. He leads the royalist to faction that supports the royal family and dutifully tends to the kingdom's political matters, matters as minister. I swear it's as if the boy exists to drive us mad. He is an embarrassment to our family. No matter. I will see to matters myself. Oh, that's so gross, Lynn. <laughs> your honored guests have arrived, your highness. This guy looks like a villain, too. <laughs> he has the pointed facial hair. <laughs> The evil grin. A, <laughs> a merchant who travels among the realm's nations is a member of the Nor Norzelia Consortium, an independent and neutral organization that manages trade of iron and salt. That's a face that says, yes, I'm a mustache twirling king's minister who's actually evil. Yeah. I see new faces among them. I trust you can tell me more, Clarence. But of course, your highness. Roland's court is full of smug villains. Yeah. General Avlora of Esfrost. Her prowess in battle is such that some say she is the second coming of Groma Ironfist, hero of the Salt Iron War. The salt must the flow. flow yes. She is more likely to emerge victorious than any but the Dawn Spear himself. I just follow a bunch of slimes on on Twitter Over there, because the slimes are natural the friends of alchemists. Of he is the newest hey, welcome back, Soul. And has been placed in charge of the military and diplomatic oh, and Chompy, we did do that collab stream of Among Us, and there was like two slime girls in there, Ichigo and Els. I imagine this will not be the last I hear of them. I know this man, source the end of Hyzant, yes. Just so oh my gosh, this is the worst side mission to pick. It's throwing so many extra characters at us. A prestigious position, though it is said he feels threatened by Minister Exham of late. So even the great monolith... Oh yeah, they're just friends. They're, no one's, a, they're not interested in me. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. I can see they were not wrong to tap you to lead the consortium. There was three. Oh, who's the third one? It would not do for me to be ignorant of the combatants. Remember these names? They're on the test. <laughs> Your Highness, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, brother and sister of the Archduke, have arrived. They will be joining. It was a blur. In Archduke Gustadolf's stead. It'd be a, it'd be great if we could do another Among Us stream with. Which a bunch of VTubers again. Influential individual in all of Esfrost. Archduke Gustadolf is said to prize freedom more than anything. It would seem that includes the freedom to put his own family above all. With all due respect, Your Highness, the decisions of another nation are their own. Do take care not to say anything that might offend. <laughs> These people look easy to fool. <laughs> you need not remind me. I like how. Uh, I know there is little to be <laughs> How I got the nickname Slick Willy from that. Honored guests, I am Franny, Crown Prince of Glenbrook. It is an honor to welcome Oh my god, his name is Franny. <laughs> I can assure you we have spared no effort in preparing for tomorrow. Alright, yeah. Maybe we weren't supposed I don't think we're supposed to like this guy at all. Though I imagine some may be too occupied awing us with their prowess in attorney to enjoy the revelry themselves. 
Allow me to escort How does anyone take this guy seriously the in the in Glenbrook? Whenever you're ready. I love me some killing. <laughs> I loved playing imposter during that Among Us stream. <laughs> I must confess. I had so many good moments where I was like, Finally, you return. There's no way you guys can. You guys will fall for this. At ease, you went. I trust all was well in my absence. Well enough. Another visit to the Woolport domain. Hewett Buckler. A relatively new member of the King's Guard entrusted with Roland's protection, she dreamed of serving the crown from a young age and was appointed a position in the King's Guard after years of hard work. Indeed. Yeah, we see why Roland keeps leaving his home. Absolutely. Franny reminds me of Golden Deer. I didn't want to... I didn't want to draw the three houses comparison so easily, but we have a red nation, a yellow nation, and a blue nation. And, um... <laughs> we have a, one of the nations is in the desert, one of the nations is cold, and the other nation has a temperate climate. And so it's like, it's like they took the the three houses and rotated them. <laughs> I didn't want to draw it so early, but it's kind of noticeable. How could anyone take this guy seriously? Rigid class system that no doubt has strict consequences for people that badmouth the upper class. True. Glenbrook's color is green. It's green and yellow, so... It's not that far off. Also, welcome to the stream, well, Evox. Not. Or have you forgotten that you are my one and only sworn leech? You act. Forgive me, truly. It won't happen again. I should hope not. So it is true that you plan to fight an attorney on the morrow. And alongside House Wolfort, no less. Poor Chompy confess, confessed whenever Will was like, Chomper, did you do this? <laughs> Chompy could not lie at all. Oh, that was such a fun stream. They look like grapes? Oh, so there wasn't even any fighting. It was just all story. Okay. Well, I, I'm glad we got the backstory on Roland. You like my design? You like the alchemist details? Hey, thanks. If, um, hang on. I might pause so I can, I can show off a little bit. Welcome back, the both of you. My potion bottles uh, have physics, which I'm quite proud of. Yes, I am showing you. I am zooming in right on my chest. Oh, and... Wait, can I show this? And I have an alchemy background. You just chose not to lie. Fair enough, fair enough. He reminds me of that guy you kill after you do his quest for the good weapon. The smug guy, he was Ferdinand's friend, harasses all the women because he sucks. You mean THE Lorenz Hellman Gloucester? Gloucester? No, Gloucester. Gloucester. Who, uh, who's only good for getting Thrysis, so that way you could give it to Ly Lysithia. Because <laughs> she had... She had the crest. Poor me, I got temporary decapitated. Oh, it's just... Yeah, I did. I don't know. Lauren, I liked his hairstyle in the time skip. But other than that, uh, I never used him. Oh, wait, I'm still zoomed in too much. Were there any troubles there we while we were out? 
None to speak of, aside from Eridor here. But what else is new? Out with it, Benedict! I heard you were beset by brigands. Is the young lord safe? <laughs> no, the prince died. <laughs> Lower your voice. Must you always shout so? I like the color purple, though, too, too, so that's why I think he gets... I give him a pass. There is no cause for concern, Eridor. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. Mayhap not, my lord. But I've known you since you were knee-high to a... Uh, An experienced soldier and commander in Wolfhart's forces, he serves Simone Simon alongside Benedict... Since the Salt Iron War and continues to do whatever he can as a loyal trainer of House Wolfort. Hey, I remember this guy from the demo. Wasn't he like a big tanky guy and he had a taunt and a counterattack? Or maybe it was a taunt and a shove attack. Oh, this guy was cool in the demo. House Wolfort Arms Master. And this must be the young lord's bride to be. Lawrence is the goat in Golden Deer after Claude, Lysithia, Hilda, Leone, Marianne, and the other two guys. Wait, the other two guys, you're forgetting, um, oh no, now I'm forgetting their name. Allow me to introduce those in service of House Wolf. No, the big burly guy was this such, such a Chad. Master at Arms. What was his name? I'm forgetting. Forces. And Ignatz, the, the You'll art, the artist guy. No harm will befall you. Hey, what's up, Sansa? And this is Anna, my right hand. Raphael, how could I forget him? Require anything, just say the word. There's Anna Pascal, an expert spy in Benedict's right hand. She is taken in by Wolfort after losing her parents and swears to do everything in her power to repay that debt. Oh, Raphael's a oh, heart of gold. I mean, I know he has a face like concrete but he is <laughs> he is such a nice character they may not be of my blood but they are my family just the same and from this day on, like all he does is think about taking care of his little sister and then he starts taking care of Lysithia and treating her like a little sister He was so nice to everyone. A joyous day this is. The little lord grew up and found himself the How's the new game? Ah, uh, good so far. Lot of dialogue. His voice certainly does carry. Sorry, my lady, but you'll have to get used to it. Anna reminds me of Dana from <laughs> Cyberpunk, which is great. <laughs> My lord, your father awaits you in his chambers. As for me, I'm Oh, Valhalla, not Cyberpunk. That's why I was confused. Tomorrow's festivities with Anna and Eridor. Lady Frederica, pray come with me. Father is expecting us. Yeah, even even my <laughs> even my future wife liked Raphael. Like she was totally simping for Claude, but then when she saw some of Raphael's support, she was like Oh my god, he is just the sweetest thing. And it made me see Raphael in a new light, too. You're getting Crown Cross next month? Nice. Alright, Anna and Eridor joined my forces. Excellent. Our army grows. Do I remember the Death God gang? Were, that, were those the people that kidnapped Manuela? Anna's aptitudes in battle. Strikes enemies from the shadows, takes two actions in the same turn, and can kill her, conceal herself from enemy eyes. Yeah, she has the stealth. Oh my god, she is so good. Eridor draws enemies' attacks, counterattacks when dealt a physical blow by an adjacent enemy. That's right. A taunt and a counterattack. As you are well aware... There are two events of utmost importance to be conducted before Lord Serenella and his bride are wed. The ceremony to commemorate the joint mining venture. Still can't believe I'll be seeing the day when we break ground on a new mine right here in Glenbrook. 
And with the full support of S-Frost and Hyzant, no less. You can thank Except I think the consortium wants to dump on that. Most wise and generous proposal that the three nations of Norzelia now strive toward a common goal. Needless to say, delegates from each nation will be joining in the festivities. From the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, Lord Dragan Esfrost, who is overseeing the technical side of the mining operations. The holy state of Hyzant. Now, if only he could move with the rest of the army. Of the Wait, is his movement speed really low? And our own Lord no, the rest of the army moves with him. He's the front line. The ceremony. Yes? Quite so. After that, it will be House Wolfort's responsibility to see that our honored guests feel welcome. Anna, I would trust you safeguarding both Lord Dragan and Minister Lila. Consider it done. Then once that stuffy ceremony is over, we can get to the real highlight of the day. The tourney! Ah, my blood's already rushing. Just envisioning the greatest warriors from all the realm clashing swords. From Esfros, the much-renowned general of Lord. Got your first hatched deviant monster in stories from too, Hyzen, Dread King Rathalos. Oh, cool. I've heard much of his prowess as well. Then, of course, there's our reigning victor, the pride of Glenbrook, Sir Maxwell the Dawnspear. I remember Dawnspear being a badass Yo, from the demo. I wish him all the best of luck against their hosts. No need to beat House Wolfort. On that matter, there are two things I should make clear. Prince Roland has expressed a desire to join the tourney as a member of House Wolfort's contingent. Why would the boy want to fight with us and not his own arms master? Apparently, he originally formally requested to do just that, but King Regna would not allow it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think that would piss off his dad and his brother. <laughs> hey, I'm going to compete in the tournament, but against you. family said we're free to put together our own contingent after. I reckon his majesty would be beside himself with joy if we could deliver a beaten to Esfrost and Isaac. Doubtless so. Very well. I shall inform the prince that he is welcome in our ranks. Oh, there's no decisions that I have to make if he can join or not? Indeed. Sadly... Oh, it is Simo, not Simon. ...no condition to participate in the tournament. Barring some miracle, I anticipate that Lord Saranoa will have to fight in his Lord Father's stead. Have I seen the anime Ranking of Kings? No, what is that about? I haven't watched any anime at all lately, so... So be it then. You can leave watching over the young lord and Prince Roland to me. Good. Wait, is it this little... It looks like a kid show. Coming of age story fantasy comedy. Not sure if this is something I would I would watch. I mean it, it looks cute, but not Not sure if that's something I would go for. Oh hang on, I'm gonna turn off my furnace so you guys don't have to hear that. Hang on. Okay. Sorry about that. Any side stories? Nope. Okay. We'll go back to... I didn't think I would like it either, but it grabs you. Father, I bring to you my betrothed, the Lady Frederica. All right. Showing off the wife to dad. A pleasure to meet you, my lord. I am Frederica of House Esfrost. Ho, ho, the pleasure is all mine. 
Simone Walfort, a legendary warrior whose valor brought an end to the Salt Iron War, head of one of the three high houses of Glenbrook, and he is an exemplary lord who has the love of his people in the King's Trust. Were it not for the efforts of House Wolfort, the Salt Iron War would rage on still today. I do not deserve the honor of joining your esteemed family, but I will endeavor to serve you all the same. <laughs> there is no need for such formalities, my girl. I'm trying to think what... You are tired from your journey, I am sure. Pray rest easy tonight. What Glenbrook has... If not iron or salt. Do, my Lord. I Do they have bully sticks? Journey, the first right, Rocky? The most important. Before we go forward together, I should like to know why you chose to welcome one of Roselle and blood, such as I. Oh, I'd heard you were a strong-willed one. Pray forgive my insolence. <sighs> And yet, I am set to marry into a mighty house of a foreign nation. I should like to know what you wish of me, that I might live up to your expectations. A most reasonable request. Both of you, listen well. All right. Tell us a story, Dad. Yes, Father. Gamer girl bathwater, yeah. Your marriage was agreed upon by Glenbrook and S. Frost. That the ties between our two nations might be... Stronger. They have everything else or the other nations of iron and salt. Oh! To give us more leverage against I guess if one land is in the percent. desert and the other's in the icy north, Precisely. maybe they have farming. Food is quite an important commodity. Was left with little choice <laughs> but to join the alliance. And yet, while Lady Frederica is indeed the Archduke's sister... At the same time, she is the daughter of a Rosellan concubine. And House Walford, for all our military prowess, is no more than a bannerman of the king. If the aim was to forge the strongest bond we could between our two nations... It would be far more appropriate for my sister, Lady Erica, to wed the Crown Prince of Glenbrook. Just so, yet neither nation chose that. And do you know why? So that if relations between our two countries were to take a turn for the worse... We could be cast away like pawns. God, such a negative! Precisely. Oh, and that's the truth! Of those who rule nations. Oh. Yeah, that's so sad. I understand now. And yet, no matter how impure the intentions behind this arrangement may be, I will not bring dishonor to the Wolfort name. Well said, my son. If that is your decision, then... <gasps> no, don't have a heart attack. Father. Lord Simo. My health is not what it once was. For this reason and more, I have made my decision. As of this day, I abdicate my position as Lord of House Wolfort. You will serve in my stead from tomorrow forth, my son. Whoa, we got promoted. But father, I am not ready to... No, not anime disease. Yeah. <laughs> the anime disease of being the father to the main character. I do love that they went for a Viking aesthetic with Wolfort instead of the more typical medieval castle aesthetic. You know, I didn't notice it until you said that, but I do see, like, the horns on the wall. But, I mean, even look on the shield on the weapon rack. It's got the... It's a, a wooden shield with the horizontal painted lines. A little Viking, a little Celtic, because you do have kind of like the Celtic knots in the rug and the carpet and stuff, but yeah, it's a, it is a cool design. You're absolutely right, Mevox.
<laughs> if the main character isn't an orphan yet, they will be. <laughs> Main character's dad is dead or dying. Yep, this is Fire Emblem. Weigh your choices carefully, then take action. Do so, and I have no doubt you will make a great lord. And trust in Benedict. He shall serve you as well as he did me. Thank you, Father. I will spare no effort that one day I may be as beloved by our people as you. Lady Frederica, your fate is not a simple one. There are many who would try to use the both of you as pawns in their own scheme. But we're not pawns. Even so, I hope that you... Wait, we just got promoted to king and queen. Through it all, as so she's the strongest unit on the board now. As your own. This is House Wolfwolf's entreaty, and the wish of a father. Of course, my lord. It was my intention from the moment I boarded the ship. Beg pardon, my lord, but Lord Dragan and Minister Lila have arrived. Very well. Presiding over tonight's banquet will be my final duty as Lord of the House. Tomorrow's ceremony will mark the beginning of yours, my son. I think the only main character's dad who didn't die in Fire Emblem was Elowood. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I hit fast forward. Uh, tomorrow's ceremony will be the beginning of yours, and after that will be your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days lie ahead. And after that will be your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days lie ahead. <laughs> hey, a young hawk soars completed. I think the... Oh, yeah, I was already reading that. Yeah, Ella Woods... He was one of my first uh, five stars in Fire Emblem Heroes. Oh my god. <laughs> it took us an hour and a half to finish the first chapter. Thirty years after the salt iron raged across Norzelia. A vein of precious minerals was unearthed in the kingdom of Glenbrook. From east to west, joy swept the land. Everyone else has a dad that's either the dead or does die. True. Common cause. The kingdom of Glenbrook, the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, and the Holy State of Hyzant endeavored to wrest this bounty from the earth. Wait, Byleth had a dad? Oh, wait. Providing expertise and resources. This uneasy alliance between once bitter enemies will herald a new era of tranquility in this long and battled realm. One after another, dignitaries from each nation arrive in Glenbrook to solidify this accord and toast to its success, the first step on the road to peace. Among those who would forge this road is Sarah Noah Wolfford. Inheriting the title of Lord Wolfford from his father, Simon, he must decide what time they... Oh, yeah! Dad can't fight in the tournament, so... That means we fight in the tournament instead. Okay, so Dragon and Lila are here. Welcome to Castle Wolford, Minister Lila. Allow me to express my gratitude to the Holy State. Were it not for your nation's generous efforts, this venture would never have come to fruition. I like the song. Good music. You are too kind, Lord Simon. You too have One of the saintly seven, Lord. she is a woman of superior intellect who is appointed over the Ministry of Medicine. That's not how you hold a dagger. 
Though I must admit, the news of the union between your son Does she have a lip piercing? I can't tell from the picture. None in Hyzant consider that a bannerman of Glenbrook would join with the ruling family of Esfrost. I hear that Lady Frederica is the Archduke's half-sister. I must ask, how did this arrangement come to be? Your curiosity is only natural. This union was promised during the war, an arrangement made with the previous Archduke. Truth be told, I am surprised one as well informed as yourself did not already know. And this is your son? As I recall. Sir Noah Wolford, at your service, Minister. And I am Frederica S. Frost. My son still has much to learn, but I believe this marriage will herald a bright future for us all. For today, I intend to step down and leave House Wolfort in Sarah Noah's capable hands. You're abdicating your position? Surprising news comes in pairs, I see. Nonetheless, I am happy for you both. Can we, I can't remember if we can trust her or not. Banquet will take great interest in the new Lord Wolfort, as will I. Yeah, I would sweat too, buddy. <laughs> I hear that young Lord Dragan of Esfrost shall also be in attendance. Indeed, he has been appointed to oversee operations at the Grand Norsalian Mines. If they're a king's minister, they're a mustache twirling bad guy who serves house bad guy. But she doesn't have a mustache. We can't trust anyone, can we? I gotta go with my gut, even if your gut is, well, you know, <laughs> trying to kill me. Is that what you're talking about? He should have arrived by now. Has anyone seen him? Dragan's gone to see the city. He was halfway there before the gangplank landed on the docks. Ah, he is your cousin, yes. I see we share an innate curiosity for new places. If she's evil, then why is she hot? The banquet will begin soon. Evil women are hot. I'll seek him out and escort him there. Very good. Though I will host tonight's festivities, I want you to act as if you're already Lord of the House. Our guests are the most esteemed personages of their respective nations. We can't trust anyone, can we? CL, I, uh... One of the char characters I played in a D&D &D campaign was a, a, a lich. Now, it was, it was a character that was already, like, already established in the lore by the DM, so I was kind of excited to get handed this character sheet to finally play. But... There were two things I learned playing an undead character that had been alive for a thousand years or more. Number one, you don't trust anyone. Because <laughs> everyone... Because we had this running joke in our D&D &D campaign that um, humans play chess, but vampires who live longer and can think farther ahead and can make plans that go out beyond decades. They can make plans to last centuries. Vampires play vampire chess, right? So vampires are pretty nasty creatures to deal with because they're thinking their moves are already centuries ahead when you're when you're making deals with them. Like, if do you accept the arrangement with a vampire or not? I mean, he or she's probably already made the arrangement, you know, 200 years. Of the, like, how you that decision you're making right then and there... They've already made the plans for 200 years on how that's going to further further their agenda. Liches, because they're a little bit stronger than vampires, they play a level of chess that is above vampire chess, so they're thinking a millennia ahead when they're making decisions. Uh, so yeah, I, I, play, I played a lich who, number one, didn't trust anyone. And number two was playing Lich Chess with every decision that he made. So it was, it was kind of fun. But yeah, you definitely... Uh, you definitely don't trust anyone. Deals with a vampire except their terms and conditions? I don't know. If in our D&D &D campaign, vampires had a, had a tendency to die a lot. In, in grotesque ways. 
Okay. Oh no, now we've reached the part where it's not voice acted. Now I have to talk. All right, Lord Dragon could be anywhere. I suppose this is good and this is as good an opportunity as any to speak with the common folk. Okay. The flow of the game compromises compromises multiple phases. In addition to story scenes and battles, there is an exploration phase. In this phase, you may move freely about areas to gather information from the people around you, obtain items, review mechanisms and terrain. Okay. Hey, we have a dash button. Thank goodness. Oh, we are we are a sprinter. I heard tell Prince Roland is shirking his duties at the castle once again. Thank heavens the shift shiftless child isn't in line for the crown. Do you guys have supplies? I maybe I'm just thinking of the demo. Aha, there are items in the houses. Oh, at least... You will find notes as the game progresses. These notes have no direct effect on the story, but they have help you better understand Norzelia and its history. Okay, cool. Greetings, my lord. My friends and I are playing hide-and-seek. Okay, have fun, kid. Good luck. I'm playing hide-and-seek, too, and trying to find Lord Dragon. By your request, Benedict and I shall take part in the tourney. May we bring victory to House Wolfort. Yes. Any sparklies in this house? Oh, there's a kitty cat! Alright. I don't know if that counts as petting the kitty cat, but we pet the kitty cat. Obtained HP recovery pellet. Aha! I did find a sparkly. There's been nothing to miss, my lord. Another quiet day. Great. Okay. I'm guessing you're quest advancing, girl. We're playing hide and seek till Da comes home. I need to find a place to hide and quick. Hey, what's up, yellow monkey? Take care not to hurt yourself. Your father wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Ah, one of my favorite games. Barrels were my favorite places to hide. Yeah, we're going with barrels. The Atlier, the Atlier moment is coming out in me, and it takes a clever mind to hide. Perhaps you can use that cleverness to help your father when you're older. Barrels! I never would have thought of that, my lord. Hee <laughs> hee, they'll never find me now. Speak from experience, they won't. However, there may be even better hiding places to be found around town. You're right, my lord. I'll find a hiding place no one's ever thought of before. We're going to come back to the, <laughs> to the village. This girl's still going to be hiding. My husband works from dawn till dusk at the port, lifting crates, and who knows what else. It's honest work, though, and the backbone of our livelihoods besides. Yep. It's just like him to gallivant off with a nary of word of farewell. Still, I suspect this is a chance to become acquainted with my future home. How would you describe your town, Sarah Noah? To a town you must take to time to relish your company, that's what Eridor told me, and perhaps some more colorful words. It is the port at the center of commerce, a town built on taxes, but not at the expense of fair trade. Wolfort is nestled safely behind the castle walls, it is a town of peace, and sets an example for the rest of the kingdom. I like that one. I don't- I, don't, I would never describe my- like- <laughs> This is a town built on taxes. Okay. <laughs> and the people are thankful to their lord for that, I am sure. There are always threats to the peace, however, as you as your encounter with the bandits pro proved. Of course, simply ensuring the smallest amount of safety must be a daunting task in itself. You have given me much to consider. All right, give me all the sparklies. Wait, was there another sparkly? Oh no, this is light reflecting off the water, I think.
Don't say anything and then he won't know that the camera's on. I don't know what I'm seeing that keeps making my eyes think there's another sparkle in that in that bucket. Aha. All the free items. Okay, now we'll talk to the people. This guy's a salt monger. The most esteemed personages from each nation will be attending the ceremony, I hear. A veritable melting pot of politics. Such an opportunity to meet and speak with your peers must not be wasted, my lord. Oh, Eridor. I still can't believe Travis and his feral spawn attacked your dear bride-to-be like that. I'm just glad we got there before any real harm could be done, my lord. It's not a JRPG if you aren't breaking into people's homes and stealing their life savings. <laughs> I'm just glad the, the, the buckets aren't alive like in uh, Elden Ring. I can scarce remember the last time Glenbrook was host to such a marvelous tourney. Who among the nations will win glory, which will be known as the fiercest in all Norzelia? I mean to be there when history is made. A lot of folk have come to town for the ceremony. I even saw a man earlier wandering about in wide-eyed wonder. Oh, that was probably the the dude I'm looking for. Hey, we found Dragon. He looks like he's wearing a schoolboy uniform, like a Japanese like like Joker from uh, Persona. Yeah, just photoshop his mask into his hand and he he'll look like Joker. Shrink Rocky just a little bit. I know, a sin. Uh, after his father's Varog, what a name, was all but relegated to life on the, as Frosty Outlands, he dedicated himself to his studies at the archives in hopes of restoring his family's honor. He is a young genius who discovered how to make explosives. Wait, he's an alchemist. All right, I shouldn't be so mean to him. The town is prosperous and its people have faith in the Lord and impressive achievements by my experience. You are too kind, Lord Dragon. Ah, my apologies, but you are... The apology should be mine. I'm Sarah Noah... Sarah Noah Wolfort. I've come to remind you to return to the castle before the banquet begins. Certain parties were quite insistent. Of course, I appreciate the consideration. I would like to explore the town a while longer, but rest assured I shall be punctual in my arrival. Whoops. Ah, I must make ready for the wedding ceremony. What gift would best suit the union of you and Lady Frederica? Hmm. It's an impossible choice. Perhaps an audience with the Lord S S uh, Simone will spark inspiration. Oh, I thought I would have another decision tree. Whoops. No, I'm going with Alchemist, White Moon. Alright, well, we talked to Dragon, we got all the thingies, and uh, we talked to the people and we made our decisions, right? The banquet will begin soon, Lord Dragan and I had best not arrive late. At the banquet, dot dot dot. I thank you for your hospitality today, Lord Saranoa. Think nothing of it. Did you enjoy the city, Lord Dragan? Quite. Its people are full of life and love for their lord. That says all I need to know about House Wolfort. You honor us with your words. I am only being frank. No, Lynn. Federica is the sister of the Archduke, after all, and my cousin besides. I would not see her marry into an unworthy house. Suffice to say, my expectations were exceeded. I have heard much of your ingenious contributions to the mining efforts. I sense prosperous days are ahead of us. Oh yeah. As do I. Finally, you can blow open mines with explosives, obviously. By war. With Esfrost's iron, Hyzant's salt, and Glenbrook's mediation, there is no limit to what we can achieve. We must regard each other as equals and forge mutually beneficial relationships. 
I sense skepticism in your words, Lord Dragan. Do you mean to imply our relations are not already mutually beneficial? I need not imply anything. The salt tax you claim makes my case more than clear. Bold words from one so young. Is that how peers speak to one another? Are you going to start a fight here, Dragan? Perhaps the young ones, yes. What do you think, Lord Serenoa? Dissatisfaction with the salt tax was one cause of the war, was it not? So Down with taxes. Boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. This is the foundation of the teachings that guide us in Hyzant. By allying with Esfrost, do you mean to gainsay our most fundamental beliefs? Of course not, Minister. We understand that the source is Norzelia's sole supply of salt. And we would not deny that it is... Wait, the, the source? Right oh, wait, that's divinity. Never mind. It as you see fit. Thank you for acknowledging that. Though it strikes me that your words are measured. You needn't be so non-committal, Lord Serenoa. It is only reasonable that the three of us have differing opinions on the matter. However, that is all the more reason for us to be open to frank discussion. Hmm. You know, I kind of like Dragan. Honored guests, <laughs> pray forgive my son. We of House Wolfort are but simple warriors. <laughs> I'm afraid matters of finance. And I like Dad downplaying us. Naturally. We're just big dumb unga bunga Vikings. We don't understand taxes. Injustice and tyranny wheresoever it may be. But I like Dragan's approach of, yeah, I'm being provocative because I want us to talk about it. hesitate to defend our land and our people should the need arise. No matter how mighty the threat, we will fight for home and kingdom. Yes, Lord Simone. Of that we are keenly aware. I apologize if I spoke out of turn. But the fact remains that as every winter passes, the tension between our nations grows, and salt is the cause. The common God. folk have all but forgotten its taste. <laughs> the host of the party <laughs> said drop the subject, Dragan. <laughs> the ministry I oversee is committed to the preservation of life. I personally believe that salt should not be a luxury reserved for the privileged few. All those who live require it. Not just those lucky enough to be born within the borders of our holy state. You agree with me then? How I feel matters little. In Hyzant, the word of the goddess, as conveyed to us from the lips of the Hierophant, is absolute. But perhaps this joint mining venture of yours may lead to the change you see. Indeed, we must set our gazes to the future. All of us. <sighs> I expect you will be the ones to usher us into a new era. Yes, father. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Oh, well, that, that ended up being nicer than I thought it was going to be, but I just, I also find it a little... Dragan refuses to take the L, true. Again, we can't trust anyone. Everyone just talks about salt. Everyone is salty. Oh, let's, let's check in on our brother Roland. He's not actually our brother, but... Dragon just wanted to, he just wanted to win the, the argument. So when he got Lila to agree with him, he was pretty happy. Spoke not a single word to me today. Cordelia Glenbrook, the third child and only daughter of King Regna, who brought the Salt Iron War to its end. The, the king did, not her. She is a young princess with, princess with a graceful air about her and ref, prefers her kind-hearted brother Roland over the high-strung Franny. Please, sister, you weep and wail like a common girl. Show some composure. Father has a kingdom to rule, a kingdom engaged in a historic endeavor. He has more important duties than to pamper a spoiled child. I... yes, of course, brother. You speak as if father's duties include anything more than licking the boots of these dignitaries. 
It is inconceivable he cannot spare the time to break bread with his daughter. You speak out of insolence and ignorance, Roland. I speak only the truth. He leaves all the cumbersome tasks to the Wolfworks and Minister Patrick. A king's word is to be obeyed. And what of his subjects? Do they exist simply to bring him glory? To take the blame for his failures? They are to serve as he sees fit. The hell they are. I like Roland. He's a revolutionary. Let's go. Down with the crown. As you wish. Speaking of his subjects, it appears lordship of House Wolfort will be passed down to young Saranoa. A.K.A. Father just thinks you're the baby machine. <laughs> for you to have a friend in the new lord. Yeah, it doesn't seem being a, a princess is, is good with all your good forces being married off. That can change as quickly as the wind. Use them well when you can, but be ready to bring down your fist if they dare to rise above their station. Don't speak of them like lapdogs. They're not servants. They're my friends. Do you really think to lead with such a soft heart? You are not fit to wear the royal signet. Stop this fighting at once. You frighten me. Enough of this. Where are you going, brother? To train with Sir Maxwell. I would clear my head. There is a tourney on the morrow, after all. Brother! Revolt, destroy the crown. <laughs> Roland is the worst. Weird name. Doesn't have a cool braid like his siblings. True. Your spear wavers, my prince. This guy's got a cool braid too. You've always been able to see through me. He lives to put down his cooler younger brother. It's no great feat. So is he? Lies ever on your is he Itachi to Roland Sasuke? Do I hear disapproval in your voice? Not exactly, my prince. It can be a weakness, yes, but it can also be your strength. After all, sometimes a direct strike is most effective at piercing a formidable defense. I will take those words to heart, Sir Maxwell. Thank you for today. The pleasure was mine. Uh, we still can't open his profile? From you tomorrow. In the final match, no doubt. I take the field with House Wolf. Even though he's been introduced no to Sir Max Maxwell. Plan. Ah, that would explain your improvement. Young Sarah Noah is a worthy training partner. A masked man, wonder who that could be? Dude, he looks like he could be in Bloodborne. He's got the mask, the tricorn hat, and a spear. Pretty good weapon. Sometimes I wish I wasn't a prince. Sasuke was never cool. Sometimes Sasuke had his moments. Born your son instead. But he was not the coolest, no. Surely you jest, your highness. Your father is a great king, and an even greater man. It is an honor to serve him as I do. A hunter hunts. Apologies. Yes. I forget myself. I must have taken quite a blow. Anyhow... I suppose I should rest till tomorrow. Be well, Sir Maxwell. It cannot be easy being the youngest prince. To have others expect nothing from you, yet still shake their heads in disapproval. But you can rise above this, my prince. Seize your chance and lay everyone's doubts to rest once and for all. Yeah! If only you told him those words directly, as opposed to the wind. Well, all the sub-stories so far have been following Roland, which is fine, because I like him. It just makes me feel bad for him, like, twice now. <laughs> Now that's what I call a feast. Oh wait, hang on, I'll be right back. I need to refill my drink. Oh, don't get up.
back to it. Let's go. You've landed quite the catch, Frederica. He is a good man. I can see it in his eyes. I think I think your cousin is drunk, Frederica. And humble as well. Are you impressed as I, Frederica? I can tell that your heart is pure and gentle, my lord. Lady Frederica. Forgive me if I caused offense. I thought only to return your sincerity and kind. No apologies are needed. I am happy to meet your approval. Yeah. I... Thank you, my lord. <laughs> Words come so easily to the both of you. And a perfect match. Forgive my curiosity. What sort he of needs some water, true. Frederica lead in Esfrost? Why not ask her instead of her cousin? Uh, truth be told, my dear, Serenoa, not a pleasant one. Those of Rosellen blood are looked down upon in Esfrost, <laughs> even if they are the daughter of the Archduke's concubine. Gustadolf's full siblings are the worst of the lot. They have not a shred of human compassion between them. Actually, you know what? I like Dragon Drunk. Bully the girl endlessly, no filter. Time or place. Is this... True? Of course it is. I know Frederica's suffering all too well. My own father lived ever in the shadow of his elder brother. The former Archduke. I hope Dragan joins us with taking down the crown. By those who consider themselves our betters. But no more. I shall show all those simpering fops that it is not birth that makes greatness, but deeds. And hey, what's up, McDougal? I did my due research at the archives that my grand invention shall blast our way forward <laughs> I'm not running away from Elden Ring I have Elden Ring scheduled the rest of the week dude you've had enough to drink <laughs> you can hardly blame me for availing myself of Glenbrook's finest libations brought by traders from the realm over. oh yeah the voice acting's pretty good has more exotic than the last <laughs> Why do nice hiccup in there too would be an affront to our new found allies just make sure your head is clear for tomorrow or have you forgotten you're meant to be representing your nation mm, oh yes a, a ceremony to usher in a new age of harmony and prosperity yeah dude I am too young to have known the war, so I... I see our three nations joining hands more as a matter of expedience. But what of you, my kin to be? How do you see our grand cooperative venture? A choice? Yeah! Is the first step towards true harmony among our three nations. I welcome it. It will benefit all nations involved. I see nothing wrong. It is impossible to understand each nation's motivations. So I can't say whether this bodes well. I don't like that option. I don't know, I'm going to be hopeful. I idealistic and hopeful. We're still young. <laughs> No, I'm not picking three. You can't force my decisions, McDougal. It is the first step towards true harmony among our three nations. I Pick three it. for the lulls? No. I see. I admire your optimism, even if I cannot say I share it. I know that old grudges die hard. Still, I choose to believe we can overcome our differences. Yeah. <laughs> Truly, a kind-hearted soul you are. Yeah, we're nice and people. People are ever eager to follow a kind heart over a wicked one. Yes, 
I suspect it shall be your strength going forward. In any event, it is always good to have another perspective on matters. I thought he meant he was going to say, <laughs> have another drink. Yeah, tell me all about it. As always, it is the young who must bear the burden of building the future. Old shoulders are frail, old minds stubborn. Whatever lies in our future, those who make it will mark their names in history. And mine, mine will be written large for all to see. And I would write yours next to it, my dear cousin. Pray, come visit me at the mines once operations are underway, and I, I shall... <laughs> Please don't yeah. barf. Are you quite all right? <laughs> Worry not, Frederica. I'm just a bit tipsy. Perhaps I should... I think you're well beyond tipsy. would seem Lord Dragan has turned in for the night. Quite the passionate fellow, isn't he? He's oh, he drunk Dragan is a boss thing. fight. <laughs> since we were little. Neither does he hide his disapproval of my brother and Trueborn siblings. Feelings which you share? I grant it would be satisfying to see the sneers of those who look down on me wiped from their faces. But I also agree with Lord Simon that we must set our gazes to the future. Though I know not yet how I might best serve in this new age, I would do what I can. We are of the same mind in that regard, my lady. The I VA who did the snore? Probably the same me. guy. <laughs> Please, call me Frederica. We are to be husband and wife after all. Of course, my... Frederica. Pray call me Serenoa as well. Uh, we should carry your cousin to his chambers. Will you help me, Frederica? Certainly, Serenoa. Let us take care not to wake him, lest he resume his prattle. Should be more jaded. I think she should be, yeah. But she seems nice. Benedict. I thought I might find you here. My lord. Did you tell her? That Serenoa would soon be taking over as lord of our house. Forgive me, my lord. I did not think to. Save your apologies, Benedict. Doubtless she was overjoyed to hear it from you. Destra always did trust you above all her advisors. As do I. For 30 years you have served my house better than I ever could have asked for. You honor me, my lord. My lord? <laughs> I suspect this will be the last night I will hear those. <laughs> my lord. I will call for a healer at once. Uh, do not bother, Benedict. It will avail me not. Benedict you know, in his youth was called Richard? Really? Me. Well, hey, I don't know what my joke Lord. you're trying to set up. And so I entrust Sarah Noah to you. For our house. Pray heed this old man's final order. Certainly. I will live. Benedict seems like a fellow that wouldn't turn traitor. Absolutely not. Our boy is in good hands. My old dear friend, long have we stood together. I will not let you down, my lord. Oh my god, Lynn. <laughs> oh, Alright, that, that, that was pretty good. Props for that one. Yeah, I know what Richard is another name for.
Oh, there's the scale thingy from the demo. My beloved son, Serenoa, will oversee the matters at our house from this day forward. Otto. I expect you to serve him as dutifully as you served me. Of course, Lord Simon. I, my lord, our undying loyalty to House Wolf. My son, listen well. The Lord's judgment shapes the fate. Elden Ring is good. I I want to stream it a lot this week. For their well-being now falls on your shoulders. That's that way I don't fall too behind in it. I'm probably already really behind. Yes, father. I shall keep those words close to my heart. I got my death counter set up with my stream deck. I require wise counsel. Together, you possess a wealth of experience. As Lord of House Wolfort, it is my duty to consider the best course from every perspective of... I get the, the vibe that Benedict was in love with Simone's late wife, Destro. Yeah, possible. I would be a fool to not seek guidance from those more traveled than I. From my house and my people... Hopefully that's not a cause for betrayal. <laughs> Hopefully he's not our true dad. Well spoken, my son. I dare say you are more than ready to receive this. The scales of conviction, a holy relic, said to be blessed by the deities of old. It was gifted to our family by the King of Glenbrook. From this day on, I entrust it to you. However, it is of little use without these. Coins. Seven of them. Tokens of conviction, we call them. Give one each to only your most trusted retainers and allies. They will guide you when the path is darkest. Their words will illuminate the pitfalls ahead. Oh yeah, I remember Be this. Well the advice of your friends and subjects and choose your steps. From the demo. Such has been the way of our house, and such you must see it always shall be. I will, Father. I shall treasure these gifts and make wise use of them in times of need. Very good. Now do your duty, my son. We await your orders, my lord. We depart for the capital at once. May this ceremony be but the first of many joyous occasions ahead of us. Yeah, tournament time. And so the stewardship of House Wolffort passes from father to son. Lord Simone Wolffort, beloved throughout Glenbrook, entrusts the future to young Serenoa. With the ceremony to mark the beginning of the joint mining venture and a tourney on the horizon, the Wolfort set forth to the Crown City. With no heroic deeds yet to his name, the new Lord Wolfort sets his eyes on the proving grounds, eager to show his worthiness. One thing I can't wait for in Advance Wars is its music. I like games with good music. Elden Ring has amazing music. Triangle Strategies had good music so far. So Lord Simon will step down. I suppose the time comes for us all to pass on the torch eventually. King of Glenbrook, Ragna Glenbrook, the current King of Glenbrook. He is revered as the wise king who brought the Salt Iron War to its end. He had launched the joint mining venture between the three nations as its coordinator. What wisdom has your father bestowed upon you? He has told me what it means to be lord of a house. Very good. Why did Benedict chuckle at that? Serenoa of House Wolfort, the crown of Glenbrook now looks to you for loyal service and brotherhood. Yes, your majesty. I shall not disappoint. I dare you to say that again, Thalys. 
must you make me repeat myself? I am the Prime Minister of Oh, Westbrook. I remember this guy. I alone am fit to represent our nation. And doesn't he have a twin sister who's also obnoxious looking too? Archduke Gustadolf's younger brother. He was appointed Prime Minister at a young age the second most powerful man in Esfrost. Go push your papers in the shadows like the minor lordling son you are. You would say me. You, who would be nothing if not for your high birth. Your ineptitude is mocked by noble and commoner alike. More smug villains, Again, yes. Again, you forget yourself. You both forget yourselves. Frederica? If you must bray at each other, then do so back home. Your bickering will bring shame upon our nation. Such strong words, sister. Archduke Gustadolf's younger sister, unlike her older brother. She judges others based on their lineage and greatly dis dislikes those not from her family main line. Do you think you're above us now that you're being wed to mighty House Wolfort? Please, Erica. My apologies, but the ceremony will begin soon. I ask the delegates of each nation to make their preparations. And you must be Sarah Noel Wolfort. Well, I suppose we should bother the happy couple no longer. Well done, Frederica. I see you've inherited your mother's wiles. She always did have a way with men. <laughs> Faces only a mother could love. Also inherited her hair. That sickly pink makes me want a wretch. Pray forgive my cousins, Lord Serenoa. And forgive me if I was out of line. The brother is at least prime minister. The they sister were... is literally useless. Well, as our dad told us earlier, uh, sister to Archduke the sister is probably just going to be married off as a political token. <laughs> not, not quite a pawn that can be discarded, but so she'll probably be used in a, in a more important marriage or something. <laughs> I guess that's her only worth to to Gustadolf. And my half siblings. I see. Well, I hope that we can all come together for the sake of our grand endeavor. As it turns out they're loyal to their nation, true. Smithy is now available. Well, let's go. Let's go bother the Smithy since that's new. I mean, it almost seems like uh, Esfros would be pretty easy to <laughs> to split apart if they're all so busy jabbing each other. As blacksmith, I have the privilege of looking after everyone's weapons. It's my honor to forge and repair whatever Wolfort's warriors require. Any blades that need tempering or bows that need priming, you only need to say the word. Dude, give me all the level 2 equipment. At the smithy, you can upgrade your weapons and unlock abilities. Both of these require materials and coin. Each weapon has three ranks. Increasing a rank unlocks more powerful abilities. You can acquire weapon abilities within the same rank in any order. The later a skill is learned, the more it will require. Gotcha. If a weapon ability is connected to another with an arrow, then they must be acquired in the order the arrow indicates. Abilities marked with an or box cannot be active at the same time. Once you've acquired either one, both become available. You may switch between them at no cost. Okay. Oh, I can increase my HP, my defense, magic defense, luck. But we need... Oh, our sword at rank 3. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's all pixely. But it's like a blue crystal sword that looks pretty... Pretty cool. Well, I think I'll just go for damage up. Because that has a, a 3 tier rank up.
Yeah, I guess tier one is just all stat ups. Man, we can't even look ahead. Oh, except Frederica gets a passive ability. Increased fire damage dealt with clear weather. Restores more HP. That's important. Her staff turns into a little cool orange thing. Dude, his shield turns into like this lion head shield at rank 3. Okay, that's... My forge is always here if you need it. All right, well, we got we upgraded the main character. That's the important thing. The passive is really good for Frederica. Yeah, I think I might go for that next. Uh, I don't think I have enough money to buy the materials required and upgrade. Guests, I am pleased to announce that operations at the Grand Norzelian Mines have commenced in earnest. Oh, fast forward. Not fast forward, auto forward. The earth has yielded treasures more magnificent than even we had anticipated. May the mines endure for many years. It's a symbol of prosperity for all of our nations. Well said. With Hyzant's salt and capital, Estrost's ingenuity, and Glenbrook's raw materials and manpower, our realm's future is bright indeed. It is a partnership built on three pillars, each bearing equal weight. We owe a debt of gratitude for all who have supported this grand venture. A particular note is Lord Dragan, whose knowledge has allowed us to so swiftly see our labor bear fruit. Yeah, give Dragan credit. Whose mediation has proved invaluable in forming this accord. May their deeds be forever remembered by history. Let us raise our cups and toast to their health and happiness. Huzzah! Huzzah! Lord Sarah Noah is smiling from ear to ear. Shame his parents couldn't be here to see this. Aw, oh, Eridor. Do not get too swept away in the moment, Eridor. We have a job to do here, and the day has only begun. Now that the formalities are done with, let the festivities begin. Step forward, Sir Maxwell. So, this is the one they call the Dawn Spear. I hate that guy's the voice. Fiercest warrior. They say he has never known defeat. I would take the measure of this man. Now that the foundations for peace have been laid, let us be stifled by rigid formality no longer. There is a tourney to be had, after all. A much more entertaining event than my endless speeches. Hey, who's the... Oh, I'm covering him up. But there's a guy with, like, blue hair in the bottom right-hand corner. He looks like, uh... Sir Maxwell, the champion of our previous challenge. He looks like Magnus from Chrono Trigger. Until then, help yourselves to our hospitality and our wine. Eat, drink, and be merry. It shall not be long until final preparations are complete. So we're we getting an exploration phase? Our time is nigh, Sarah Noah. Ah, but I forget myself. Our time is nigh. Lord Wolfort. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. But living up to the title will be no easy task. You'll do your father proud, I'm sure. Unlike some of us. Aw, Roland. Mm, I feel like distracting him. Have more faith in yourself, my friend. You too shoulder the future of the kingdom after all. 
This is no time for self-pity. A prince's subjects mustn't hear him talking that way. Come, preparing for the tournament will help take your mind off your worries. Uh, I also kind of want to say this one because I know what happens in the demo. Two? Why do you want me to be mean to everyone? <laughs> I don't want to be dismissive of how he feels. I'm going with the first one. I'm metagaming slightly. Have more faith in yourself, my friend. After all, you too shoulder the future of the kingdom. I wonder. I wonder if Glenbrook will truly flourish thanks to anything I do. Of course it will. It already has. Besides... Be mean to everyone, let the intrusive thoughts win. <laughs> when I play any RPG, my goal is to be nice to everyone. You two are quite the pair, aren't you? Which is why it always blows my mind when I see people... ...play games like Fallout, and they're just like, Yep, kill everyone. It's like, what? This is Hugh Wex of the Kingsguard. I am tasked with keeping his highness safe. Though he often seems to resent it. Tis a pleasure to meet you, Lord Wolfwart. Oh, doesn't Hewitt? Ah, Prince Roland has told me much about you. No, I she's not the one that has the bird mount. I might I might be misremembering. So, or does she have like an eagle or something? Today we take the field. And today. Today we claim victory. Yay, Roland and Hewitt joined. Oh no, she is, I'm right. Thank you. Roland's aptitudes in batter. Battle, a melee warrior with range. Strikes foes two squares in front of him with a spear. His steed grants him exceptional mobility. Hewitt's aptitudes in battle. Rains arrows down on foes from the back of a hawk. Easily traverses terrain with large elevation changes. The higher the ground, the greater her range. It's like, um... It's like if you try to play, what is it, Renegade and uh, Mass Effect? It's like, I can never bring myself to be mean to Garrus. Alright, I'd best... Greet our guest. It should also give me a chance to take the measure of my soon-to-be opponents. And grab all the shinies that I see. Oh, apparently I can climb up on the fountain. And no one's gonna come in and be like, Lord Saranoa, get down from there. Hang on, are there not any more shinies? Alright, well, since I'm over here, let's talk to this Avlora. Ah, uh, just for Lynn. General of the S. Frosty Army. A woman orphaned by war, she toiled to earn her rank of general and is known as the strongest in S. Frost. Her skills acknowledged by even the Archduke himself. Hmm, a predictable match with a predictable outcome. That's all she says. I understand not being renegade, but did you get tired of a certain reporter's disingenuous assertions? Didn't, uh... Didn't they come out and say something like, uh... Like, 90% of the player base opted to smack her when they had the chance? I suppose we haven't formally met yet. I'm Erica Icefrost. S-Frost. Yes, Frederica is my sister, although I hardly think her as such. This country is old, for lack of a better word. I'm certain we'll fit her sensibilities perfectly. Rude. Do I have to call her sister-in-law? Ah, Cernoa Wolfort, how great to see you again so soon. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Thallus S. Frost at your service. I suppose soon I should be calling you my brother-in-law. Oh, those are just my thoughts, literally. Pre-watched. Uh, this is quite the castle you have, full of history and great deeds. I hope that one day fate sees it fit to deliver me one so grand. Don't get your hopes up. Oh, this is a soldier. He doesn't have a name. We don't say what he says. 
Oh, I learned about the captured smuggler. Never mind, this guy had important things and I just skipped along all of it. Stout Hawk Shield. Wait, why can't I look at his profile? Never mind. The soldiers here are obedient. I'll give them that. I can't say the same for S. Frosty's military. For better or worse, that in S. Frost, we value freedom over all else. Those with the drive to succeed naturally rise to the top. Though your kingdom's lords and ladies might view us as a rabble of ambitious upstarts, we aren't beholden by tradition in S. Frost. If you're ever any interested in seeing what true freedom looks like, you're welcome anytime. What do you mean you aren't beholden to tradition? You have the freaking prime minister and the sister being like, eh, you aren't true blood. That's absolutely tradition is to be like, oh, you're not, you're not a hundred percent, uh, whatever. A country where one is judged by ability and not birth, it certainly has produced some formidable personages. It's a lie. It's, it's a farce. I shall have to visit whenever time allows. Well, I mean, I think it would be nice to take your wife back to her homeland, Sarah Noah. Glenbrook Noble says, I passed a group of soldiers clad in black armor on the way here. Are those S. Frosty storied black irons? I mean to question any S. Frosty I can about the archives. It is said within the archives, countless tomes lies the answer to any and all questions that have ever been asked. You only need to seek them out. House of Boundless Knowledge. That's certainly something I like to see with my own eyes. Now we learned about the archives. Okay, so talking to everyone is important because we get context clues. Or conversation clues. Even commoners. Or commoners. People without names even can contribute conversation hints. Sparkles? Oh, what was the thing from South Park? They had the girls club. And they would ask, uh, does that sparkle with everyone? What did they say back? Uh, it wasn't glitter. Wait, there's another kitty. Yes. Hey, what's up, Cyberwolf? Cyber, the wolf. Sunshine, that's what it is. <laughs> Does that sparkle with everyone? Sunshine! Yeah. <laughs> with you by my side, friend, I feel we could take on the entire realm. I dare say we may even give the Dawn Spear his first taste of defeat. It is an honor to be allowed to fight by House Wolford's side. I shall do my utmost to bring honor to you on the battlefield. Yay! They want to fight for us. Bewitching dancer, I understand your medal shall be in display at the tourney, my lord. May it leave an impression on all in attendance. Congratulations on your recent appointment as lord. I'm sure the entire realm will celebrate the occasion. Lord Simone has ever been a dear friend to us pray do not hesitate to come us come to us in times of need okay maybe she's nice i have laura brooding in the corner because she's not like other girls true you are the new lord of house wolfort i have seen you from afar but i believe this is the first time i have the pleasure of speaking of you even now the common folk sing of your house's bravery during the salt iron war Doesn't this guy remind you of the prince from uh, Bravely Default 2? Exarm Marcial, one of the saintly seven. He is a knight who showed promise at a young age and entrusted with the nation's military matters. However, I suspect it shan't be long before the sing of House Marcial's deeds instead. I look forward to seeing you at the tourney. I guess that's just banter. Alright, Dragon, what do you got? Is it true that General Avlor will be taking the field in the tourney? The right hand of the Archduke, reveled only by her lord in ferocity, I doubt she judges a friendly competition to be worthy of her abilities. Still, if she lives up to her reputation, then she wouldn't have to try hard to prove a match for even the mightiest warrior. He called her a tryhard. Cordelia, you're joining the tourney with my brother, aren't you? Sir Maxwell has trained with him since he was little. Roland could barely stand after they sparred. But he even walks like the Dong Spear now. I'm so proud to have him as my brother. Uh, my apologies. Franny was always saying I let my emotions get the better of me. Please keep my brother safe, will you? And she says this all in front of Franny. 
With a wedding on the horizon, I imagine time must be a precious resource for you. Your life is on the cusp of great change, my young lord. Still, I pray you remain a faithful friend to my brother. He has his foibles, but I care for him all the same. Do you? Are you not plotting his downfall? Soon you will lead your first foray into battle, and Lady Frederica and I shall experience true combat for the first time. What, fighting for your lives against bandits wasn't true combat? Alright. Do you have a stratagem in mind for the tourney? Maybe a tourney, but defeat will bring shame on us. I tend to do whatever I must win. No, our house fights with honor. There should be no tricks, but we will offer our opponents no quarter. Now, I'm gonna simp. You handled yourselves admirably when the bandits attacked. I expect your magic will be key to our victory. Because I, I actually believe that. Especially the healer magic lady. Gila. Is that so, my lord? To tell the truth, I hadn't anticipated such a response, but thank you for the flattery nonetheless. I was being sincere. I have faith in all my allies. Else we would be, else we would not be fighting together. Your honesty is refreshing indeed. I am not so nervous as I was a moment before. I shall do my best to answer your every expectation. Lady Frederica and I shall prove ourselves worthy to fight alongside you. Alright, what else? Stories of Minister Exarm's skill have reached even the lips of my servants. I very much look forward to learning the truth of these tales. Oh, what does Benedict want? My lord, before the tourney begins, I would like to ask you a single question. To what end do you believe this contest is being held? It's a chance for our three nations to gather and celebrate, although the battles may be bloodless, victory is sweet, all the same. True. In times of peace, there are precious few chances to display martial prowess. I mean to remind people of House Wolford's legacy. Also a good answer. It may appear to be more entertainment, but reputations are at stake. If we show weakness, they'll be noted by all in attendance. The political man's answer. I like the third option best. Especially if I'm... Yeah, you know what, McDougal, I'll agree with you, and I will go... I will go with three. Just so, my lord. Each nation will show their strength and take the measure of others in turn. It will be a test of skill as well as metal. I'll try not... To, I'll not treat it lightly. Oh my god, the... Mixing up the words in the ye old English twists my tongues. Tongues? Twists my tongue. I only have one, I promise. Very good. It shall be the first of many tests to come, I am sure. You went with two? Oh, I already forgot what two was. Oh, it doesn't even show the other choices. Triangle strategy, three choices, a little on the nose. <laughs> At least it's not like a rock, paper, scissors triangle strategy. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Nothing to report. I hear the Dawn Spear is returning to defend the title he won at the previous train. Let's hope he hasn't been resting on his laurels. Let's hope this tourney brings the same thrills as last year's. I won't soon forget the final bout between Lord Simone and the Dawn Spear. Aye, it was a match for the histories. Tis a shame Lord Simon. Won't be here to have another go at it. I think that's how you say it. Simon? His son is representing House Wolfort this year. That's me. I'm right here. I don't reckon one so green can stand against the likes of the Dawn Spear, but I've seen stranger things. Well, let's hope this... Oh. All right, we already did this. Today I fight by Sir Maxwell's side in the tourney. I could not envision a greater honor than this. May we cross swords, Lord Serenoda, and may the fight be one to remember. You must be Lord Wolfort. I am Patriot, Patriarch of House Consar. By King Regna's grace, we were chosen above all others to attend this momentous cer ceremony. Tis an honor, truly. All we have, we owe to our king. Let us continue to serve him as well as we can. Man, I gotta talk to these people, too. I've never seen a woman, or man for that matter, quite like Minister Lila. Beautiful, elegant, and brilliant. What I wouldn't give to son serve under someone like her. Speaking of simps. Word has it her new assistant is a strapping young researcher said to be well-versed in ice magic. 
Ah, I knew I'd spent more time at my books instead of in a training yard. Advert. Oh, I hit it again. Who's the Ice Mage? I hear the Bloody Shield himself will be fighting on behalf of Esfras during this year's tourney. He's the captain of the Dukies, Duchy's Elite Hawk Riders. Duckies. And a fierce hawk shield himself. I look forward to seeing the man in action. Oh. Anna. Lord Serenono, Baron Edict has been looking for you, uh, but it seems you've already spoken. And Eridor? Your first tourney as, as lord of your house. Eh, I knew the day would come, but it still brings tears to my eyes to see it. Always remember that Benedict and I are at your back, my lord. Come to us for whatever you need. That includes the tourney. You need someone in the dirt, my lord? I'm your man. Let's show him what stuff House Wolford is made of. I like Eridor. Oh, I was going to ask Lila about the Ice Mage. Can I ask her about the Ice Mage? Nope. Okay, have I talked to everyone? Including the kitty cat. I remember the demo we had the ice mage, so there is a way to recruit them somehow. I don't remember talking to you. Lord Serenoa, congratulations. Who's this guy? Silvilio. Another smug, angry, pointy mustache looking potential bad guy. The Lord of House Tellior, one of Glenbrook's high houses. His distant domain lacks the fighting power of the other two houses, but has been tr entrusted with ca safeguarding the kingdom's precious reservoir. The news of Lord Simon's Simon. Oh my god, I already forgot how to say it. Simon's abdication was sudden, to be sure, but all lords must give up their position in time. Still, I am certain having that immense responsibility thrust upon you at such a young age must be trying indeed. If you ever require counsel or simply a sympathetic ear to bend, do not hesitate to call upon House Tellior. Dude looks like he steals from children, yeah. Simon. <laughs> I've trained the prince since he was scarcely old enough to hold a spear. I have a great interest in seeing his performance. Oh, here we go. Maxwell Trier. Simone. Thank you, Arrow. The strongest warrior of Glenbrook. He is known as the Dawn Spear. He was appointed the kingdom's master of arms by Regna, who recognized his skills in combat. Dude, he wears his jacket only on one sleeve like Auron. You know he's a badass. I would wish you good luck, but I'd rather your skill carry you to victory. All right, and we'll talk to the king. You carry your father's legacy on your shoulders, young lord. Eager am I to see how it fits you. Did I talk to Frederica yet? Ah, Thallus and Erica. I wonder if those two would deign to participate in the tourney. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've grabbed all the shinies. I've talked to every person. It says I've learned all I can about S. Frost. Yeah, there's no NPCs hiding out anywhere. Oh, wait. Hang on. Can I? Is there another room? Can I go? No. Okay, so I can't leave here. The tourney will begin soon. I'd best head back. All right. Don't forget you can change the camera with right stick. Oh, did I miss some people? <laughs> that would just be my just be my luck, right? Okay, so I bought the fiber, but I don't think... Oh, maybe I should be saving my money to buy these things. Oh, well. Maybe an item or two. 
It would suck if I missed like a gold pickup and I, I missed the chance to level up right here. All right, let's start the battle and then after the battle will probably be the end of the stream. The combatants have arrived and the stage has been set. Let us introduce the champions who will fight for the glory of their nations. Fighting for the honor of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, General Avlora. Fighting for the honor of the Holy State of Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. Oh, Marshall. Fighting I've been saying Marcial. House Wolfort. And last but not least, the victor of our previous tourney, Sir Maxwell the Donspear. Hurrah! Hurrah! The Wolfort Lordling is here in his father's stead, I see. Lord Simon's heroics on the battlefield are the stuff of legend. A pity I couldn't match swords with him today. You will match swords with me. I promise to make it every bit as exhilarating as father would. You have his spirit, if nothing else. Indeed. I look forward to crossing swords with you. The combatants have assembled. Now, let the battles begin. I shall announce our first pairing as chosen by lot. Minister Exham and Lord Walford, make ready for combat. All right, time to embarrass this guy. Let's go. Oh wow, it's it's literally just fighting on the square. Alright, during battle prep you can survey the battlefield, place units, and even return to the encampment. You can change the initial placement of your units before battle, blah blah blah, okay. Dude, X Arms got what sword is that? It looks cool as heck. It's called Green Viper, but it's blue. And then a bunch of rogues, a couple pikemen. And Sorcely. He's level four. Am I not meant to win this battle? Because I'm only level two. And he's got a couple level three guys. Oh, he's weak to spears though. Good to know. Okay. Well, I want Eridor in front. I want Roland. I have win and lose conditions. Oh. I think I have all eight of them deployed. Victory, decimate enemy forces, defeat, lose all allies. Didn't even level? I only had one battle before this. The wind is breezy and the weather is clear. Oh man, if only I got Frederica's passive. <laughs> She'd do bonus fire damage for this fight. Okay, I want Roland on this side. So he's across from Exarm. How much health do their guys have? Oh, not as much as we do, except for the boss units. Okay.
Alright, I'm kind of, my my intention here with my deployment is to try to focus on one side as opposed to trying to fight all eight in the middle. Um Try to get Roland and Saranoa to lead the charge. I think you call this a denied flank. And how I'm placing the units. And then Aridor with his beef. He can hold hopefully hold these guys off, maybe. Maybe I want Gila more in the middle so she can heal better. Alright. <laughs> Let's save real quick. <laughs> Just in case I uh, mess up. Alright. Let's go. It's only, what, the second battle... Nope, I want to win. I expect no quarter from you, Prince Roland, nor from you, Lord Serenoa. Show us the sword play your house is so famous for. They're two of Hyzant's most famed generals. We'll have no room for mistakes. Then we shall make none. Now, let us show the realm the medal of the new generation. For honor and glory! Oh wow, they're faster than us. Time to work. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Anna's gonna go first. And I like her... Her, uh... Oh, she doesn't have stealth yet. Uh-oh. Really? She doesn't have any abilities yet? Oh. Oh wow, those guys are fast and have range. Oh, this is such a juicy... Oh, but Exarm and then a Rogue are gonna go next, right? Oh, just Exarm. And then who's next? Frederica? No. He oh, Huet is next. Okay. Or should I focus on the guy who's right in front of me? Yeah, I guess I shouldn't throw my knight deep into enemy territory and get ganged up on. That would be bad. Even though I want Roland to fight Exar because he's going to do bonus damage to him. Oh, it's so tempting to just go for the double hit, though. When choosing a command, the word weak will appear over enemies who are susceptible while resistant will appear. Yep. Whoops. Yeah, see, I highlight Lance and it says weak over the uh, Marshall guy. Brace yourself. You are not worthy of my time. Oh, good. He's, oh, I thought he was going to skip his turn. <laughs> and his dude stacks up behind him. Excellent. Yeah. 
prepare for his strike. Perish. Now! No! There is no mercy on the battlefield. You mean there's no mercy in this dojo? Oh, he has an ability that raises movement? I didn't know that. Furates all enemies within range for two turns. Oh, he's not close enough for that. So we'll just have to shield bash this guy. For a lot of damage. Half his life in one hit. Ah, yes. The point blank throwing knife. Oh, thank God that missed. Now shall I destroy you? Cool heads shall prevail. <laughs> Roland is getting beat up. Thank you. See, this is why I didn't want to get into a fight in the middle. Oh, but she can scorch a bunch of them. With the powers in me. I will end this. Oh, this dude's going to go next. Oh, act twice? Oh, if only there was another thing she could do. Shall we begin? Your life blood shall paint my soul. Too obvious. Good dodge. Oh! Oh, ho, ho, ho. hang on, I just realized. Oh, what a what a beautiful corner. It's going to be a critical and it's got a follow-up attack. You don't stand a chance. Brute. Yes. How about another? Hopefully that wasn't too greedy. Certain maneuvers award you kudos, which can be traded for items at the encampment sundry shop, which we don't have yet. Okay, 31. If only she had an AoE attack. Oh wait, this counts as a follow-up if I hit this guy? Hang on, that seems way too good. Hello, me. <laughs> I accidentally moved to the right spot, how about that? From where shall we strike? All right. I don't want to hit the go for the boss just yet. Let's take down another soldier. This ends here. I shall do what I can. All right, who's hurting? Eridor is hurting. Oh good, almost full healed him. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Oh, 
Let's strength up Anna, because if she can attack twice in one turn with the strength up, that's really going to magnify the uh, effect of the buff. Yeah, this is going to hurt. Please, please be too slow and fat to... Okay. So if I move here, I think I can save Roland. If I use Provoke. Yeah! Come and get me. Oh, the boss, of course, is resistant to it. Status charges are denoted with an icon and a turn counter. Okay. There's a lot of statuses. Let me show you what I've learned. Yeah, if she just casts Scorch, she can hit two. Yeah. Seems pretty good. I will end this. Oh, she might be able to just kill this guy on her own. Victory is within reach. Victory is within reach. Shall we begin? No, Roland, dodge! No! Damn it. Oh, it was lined up so he could get a double kill on the spear. Show them that the Wolfords never back down. Oh. Here I come. He's just he was just too squishy. Oh, I needed him to stay alive to duel this guy. Oh, if I attack this guy, we get a follow-up. I'll do that because it gets Eridor some experience. Even if he isn't necessary for the kill. Yeah. From where shall we strike? This guy's gonna act next, so if I hit him, I prevent him. If I kill him, I prevent him from attacking. I think I'm gonna lose Eridor this turn as well. Or I can try to get in spot to duel the boss character. No. Stick to the plan, I think we'll just knock down another unit. This ends here. I unfortunately don't get a chance to. Heal Eridor. I learned Pursuit Stance. How shall I destroy you? I thought I had him. I shall try oh, and he stole my spoils. What a jerk. This guy's facing that way. I, I shall do what I can. Alright, who needs healing now? Sarah Noah's low. I think Sarah Noah's the only one who's been hurt. Crap, she doesn't have any magic left. Or she doesn't have any TP to cast a spell this turn. Alright, we'll just go for the follow-up on the boss. I will end this. Oh. 
Alright. Even though she can't stealth, uh, double actions are really OP. No, Frederica! Yeah, if I attack this guy, I get a follow-up from Saranoa. Oh, and it counted as a backstab, too. All right. Is this turn next? No, I still got two turns to take him out. Follow up, backstab. Yeah. Anna learned throw poison. I shall try my level best. Can he finish him off? No, it's close. He can't finish that guy off. At least Gila gets to go next and heal Frederica. You've made a grave mistake. Shall we begin? Be at ease. Keep the fire mage alive. Oh, crap. I put Benedict in a really dumb spot. <laughs> you know, at least he's tanky. Does he go Super Saiyan now? I feel like it'd waste Anna's turn if we go after this guy. I've got like five, u four units acting before he does, so I can finish him off with someone before then, right? So I think we'll just double backstab the main bad guy. Allow me. You brute. Sound strike. Sound strike. All right, who are you gonna go for? Man, how is Benedict so tanky? Alright, we'll finish off Sorcely. What sucks about losing Roland and Eridor so early is now they can't get experience. <laughs> I just realized. Hey, hey, exquisite spoils. Yeah, he went leveled up. Only person you need to heal is, uh... Well, Benedict is low. This guy wa has... He really wants to beat up Frederica for some reason. Your are I can keep 
hiding. This is troubling. Alright, I like uh, Benedict and Anna. Buff Anna, have her double attack. Benedict learned Bulwark. Well, hopefully that keeps us alive in the future. <laughs> Backstab with a book. So what hap that's what happens to people with pink hair, they get bullied. Yeah, so far that's what looks like it happens to her. Hey, how is the game? Is it worth buying? I was ready to buy this game after the demo, Nini. Uh, I think it's really good. They have a, a playable demo that takes you up through chapter 3. So even if you're on the fence and you have the hard drive space, yeah, I would download it and try it out. But same studio who made... I think it was the same studio who did Octopath Traveler. I mean, you have the 2D sprites in the 3D background. But instead of being a straight JRPG like uh, Octopath was, you get that Final Fantasy Tactics, Fire Emblem grid-based battling, which I really love. Well, unfortunately, I didn't keep everyone alive. I, I really wanted Roland to level up. To think that get the better of us. Okay. Excuse me. Your father taught you well. You wield that great sword with skill beyond your years. Well fought. The day is yours. We're gonna pause at the next pausing point and call it a stream. I don't know when Victory that might be. Goes to House our next bout shall be between General Ablora and Sir Maxwell. May glory go to the victor. Yeah, I've been waiting for this game for like ever since it was announced like a year ago. Stand back. This one is mine. <laughs> Very well. I accept your challenge. Oh, I forgot how cool Evlor's sword was. Whoever taught you, they taught you well. Though something tells me you surpassed your teacher long ago. Your defense is formidable. As is yours. I yield. Lots of grunting. Okay. Victory goes to Sir Maxwell. Uh, my hand. I can't feel it. <laughs> so that was General of Laura. I pray never to meet her on the battlefield. Dun dun da foreshadowing. Because I played the other demo and I know what happens. There will be no quarter given today, young lord of House Woolfort. I would expect nothing less. Oh, we don't actually get to play out the battle. We just get story spanked. We get our butt beat so bad we lost <laughs> we got knocked out. Ah, you're awake. And none the worse for wear, considering the blow you took from Sir Maxwell. Uh, he was too strong for us in the end. Today, yes. But let us keep at our training. One day, the students will surpass their master. And we don't even have like a little Master's cool cutscene. We just get day, bonked out friend. right away.
to arms, brave warriors, completed. Hey, just in time. I want to go sleepy. Yeah, let's save the game. Alright, guys. That is going to be the stream. Just, a, I think, right about three hours since I did start a little late because Rocky didn't want to... He didn't want to come straight inside after the walk, but uh, really good taste of the game so far. Uh, I know I'm playing Elden Ring probably the rest of this week, except for Sophie on Sunday, but uh, we'll we'll get back to this next week, and uh, who knows? I don't think I'll beat Elden Ring this week, but if by some, I think I'll focus on this game after Elden Ring. Uh, I know this will be a lot longer. Um what is this, like a 50-hour game? Maybe longer? Probably longer since I am I have to, you know, do the talking when the game gives up on the talking. But I really like strategy role-playing games like this. So this is going to be... This is like... It might not be the second coming of Fire Emblem Three Houses, but it'll be like my Fire Emblem Three Houses for this year, I think. So... I just know when I hit yes to save, it's going to kick on to the next part of the story. So that's why I'm leaving it here. So... I'll, I'll kill the stream, I'll save, and then when we jump right back in, it should pick us up right here after the tournament. So that'll be for next time. But for now, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Uh, if you guys saw the schedule on Twitter, I'm going to try to stream Elden Ring a lot this week. Tomorrow is definitely Elden Ring. Um, my goal being uh, to, to catch up on stuff that I might have missed before Mar Margit. Margit, Margit, the first boss, the first main story boss. So any mini dungeons or minor collectibles or something, uh, that's, I, I want to gather it all before I uh, get too far ahead. And then it's like, oh, a mini dungeon. And I can just like sneeze on stuff and it'll die. But at least that's the goal for net, for tomorrow. And then the rest of the week will just be progressing through Elden Ring as normal. Unless, you know. Yes, tomorrow, there's an, I didn't actually miss a whole lot, so there's only like a couple things and we can get right back to the main story. But uh, that is the plan. So hope to see you guys later on for some more streams. Hope you guys enjoyed Triangle Strategy tonight. Like I said, we'll get back to it next week. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. I know today is mon was Monday. I was going to say is, but it's almost over. So it's always the start of something new. Anyways, uh, we're taking off. I'm going to take Rocky out and then uh, make ready for bed. So I hope you guys have a uh, good rest of your time. Hope you guys sleep well and all that. And uh, we'll see you next time.